Will Charles Leclerc ever be able to win an F1 title with Ferrari? Right now, there are more reasons to doubt that will happen than to believe it can. And as the reality of Ferrari's lack of competitiveness compared to Red Bull continues to undermine even the very best Leclerc performances, you have to wonder whether he will eventually think that way too. Throw in an irrepressible rumour that Mercedes has an eye on Leclerc long term and the turbulence Ferrari seems to still be suffering from with senior members of its F1 team and serious progress looks critical with Leclerc contract talks on the horizon. Let's start with the rumour that we've been hearing in the F1 paddock since the end of last year, that Leclerc is a target for Mercedes for when Lewis Hamilton calls it a day. Leclerc's Ferrari contract expires at the end of 2024 and he's been linked with Mercedes for several months. Speculation over Leclerc's future has only intensified in the wake of Ferrari's disappointing start to the season, which itself follows the capitulation of his championship bid in the first half of 2022. It's easy to make an argument for why Leclerc would want to leave, and sooner or later there will be a vacancy at Mercedes. Hamilton's Mercedes deal ends this season, although he is expected to renew for what has previously been hinted would be another two-year commitment. At the beginning of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix weekend, Leclerc fielded more questions about potential interest from Mercedes and did his best to politely bat them away. When asked directly about any phone calls from Mercedes F1 boss Toto Wolff, he insisted, no, zero, really zero, you all smile because you don't believe me, but I promise. But while insisting there had been no contact, Leclerc fueled some intrigue by adding not yet. And Wolf has admitted Leclerc has to be on his team's long-term radar, even if he's not of interest in the short and medium term. Asked by us whether Leclerc needed to be monitored given his contractual status and if there had been any contact with him or his management, Wolf talked up Leclerc's ability and personality, but said there had been no contact. He reckons Leclerc will be loyal to Ferrari in the way Mercedes and Hamilton will be loyal to each other. But Wolf didn't answer the other half of our question and we were happy when someone swiftly pulled him up on that. Pushed again on the specific element of whether Leclerc needed to be under consideration if he's available, Wolf said, Charles is a super guy and for the long term future, someone you need to always have on your radar. That's clear, but not for the short and medium term. You might think Wolf's just being polite towards Leclerc or even playing games with Ferrari by tapping up its lead driver. But he is a genuine admirer of Leclerc as a driver and it would be foolish for Mercedes not to consider Leclerc or assume that he just won't be available. Ferrari had a change of team boss over the winter with longtime Leclerc supporter Fred Vasseur joining but that's been followed with more turnover, like the departure of head of vehicle concept David Sanchez and the news last week that senior team figure Laura Mechies will leave to run Alfa Tauri. This apparent instability at the top, coupled with Ferrari's enduring underachievement, has inevitably raised more questions over whether Leclerc can really fight for a title with Ferrari in the future. But Leclerc said in the lead up to Baku that his confidence in Ferrari is more than ever because of what he's heard from Vasseur about the team boss's targets and methods. And Vasseur felt that Leclerc's comments in Baku were a ringing endorsement of the Ferrari project because Leclerc's confirmed he is committed to it. So as far as team and driver are letting on, a new contract sounds like an inevitability. At some point this year, Ferrari and Leclerc will begin contract negotiations. Both parties will hope that the team is in a more stable position by the time this happens. Ferrari's pitch to Leclerc is that the team is fully behind him and if he reciprocates, they can build a title challenging team together. Vasseur said that Leclerc is not a spectator in the process and that at Ferrari he's got the chance to do what Hamilton did at Mercedes and what Michael Schumacher did at Ferrari years ago. The argument is basically that Leclerc needs to be at the epicentre of a team and Ferrari's his best chance to do that. Unfortunately for Vasseur, his attempts at rebuilding Ferrari from the ashes of its 2022 championship capitulation have been repeatedly set back since he took the job over the winter. His confidence that Leclerc will continue to believe in Ferrari comes in the face of an imminent and high-profile exit from the pit wall. Sporting director Mechies will leave Ferrari to join Alfa Tauri as team principal next year, although continues to work for Ferrari in the meantime and was on site in Baku last weekend. It's a move that Vasseur insists won't impact the development of Ferrari mid-term, just like he's downplayed the loss of head of vehicle concept Sanchez to McLaren and other figures who left Ferrari over the winter in the wake of Mattia Bonotto's departure as team principal. But now three of Ferrari's most senior personnel have exited the team in the past six months or so, and that begins to look like an exodus of talent. And as far as Mechies goes, it's also not a good look for Ferrari to lose someone to a Red Bull-owned team and still have that person embedded within Ferrari while they haggle over the terms of his release from a long-term contract. Vasseur argues that the loss of a handful of figures within the structure has a minor impact overall given the total size of Ferrari's F1 ranks. 
He described the Sanchez and Mejia's exits as no drama in the bigger picture and has reiterated that point repeatedly to the point of almost undermining their contributions so far. He's also hinted at Ferrari hiring as many people as it's losing, suggesting this is just part of the natural turnover of staff. And there are rumours that among the recruits are some senior engineers from Red Bull's aerodynamics department. As for Sierra's in the process of trying to steady this ship, if there really are some high profile Red Bull recruits coming, then it would do Ferrari the world of good by confirming that. It's understandable that Fred stresses the importance of the group over individuals because F1 organisations are absolutely massive and clearly one or two people are not the be all and end all. But they can be very important. They set the tone for the organisation and have significant symbolic value. And succession planning is tough enough. Just look at Mercedes having to put James Allison back in the technical director role without having to replace people you don't expect to leave in the first place. Plus, there's the element of what these departures say about Ferrari. Bonotto, Sanchez and Mechias were all clearly not convinced about the direction of the team for one reason or another and felt they were better off looking for alternative challenges. It's not a reflection upon Vasseur at all, but more about the environment that Chairman John Elkin and CEO Benedetto Vigna have created with their choices. And as much as Ferrari tries to argue the opposite, right now it looks like an organisation still in flux, not one that Leclerc can have total faith is on the brink of being moulded into a Red Bull beater. Nobody wants this to change more than Leclerc. He really, really loves Ferrari. If, and right now it is a big if, Leclerc does leave Ferrari at the end of 2024, it will be with a heavy heart, and only because he's lost the last dregs of confidence in Ferrari's ability to finally come good. Even though the Azerbaijan weekend ended with a familiar result, we saw how desperate Leclerc is for his Ferrari dream to come true. After scoring a surprise pole position, he pointed to the Ferrari badge on his race suit in celebration, then called the result a boost for Ferrari in the context of rumours about himself and the team. Leclerc wanted to send a message on track and off it. Just when you think he might be losing faith that Ferrari is a lost cause, that he'll need to cut ties eventually, a moment of magic like the Baku pole reignites the fire. The badge pointing after taking pole and the obvious glee of turning around a terrible start to the season, which Ferrari had harboured title aspirations for, combined to show two things after qualifying on Friday. Leclerc wants to succeed with Ferrari more than anything else, and his peaks make you believe that it might just be possible in the end. By Sunday in Baku, that belief had been eroded again by reality, as Leclerc's mighty pole turned into a distant third and would have been worse but for a perfectly judged drive that kept him just out of reach of Aston Martin's Fernando Alonso. Leclerc was brilliant in Baku, not just in qualifying but also in the race. Unfortunately, the Grand Prix obliterated any notion after Leclerc's pole that Ferrari might be back in the reckoning against Red Bull. It was at best slightly more competitive, but Leclerc just flattered the situation. He had the car, the ability and the willingness to take risks to overachieve over a single lap and grab two pole positions, then gave Ferrari the best realistic result across the two races. But those results were still a comprehensive defeat. That's the reality and Leclerc's body language afterwards underlined that. There was a resigned air to how Charles looked and how he spoke. He was not frustrated with Ferrari, but with the situation. Nothing else could be asked of him from the weekend and he was still nowhere near winning. Only Ferrari can change that, and it must make progress this year to have any chance of convincing, well, anyone that Leclerc's loyalty to the team will eventually be rewarded. The alternative is to have more and more race weekends that just show that Ferrari has a driver capable of doing special things and is being wasted. Dashes of Leclerc magic like we saw in Baku always give a glimpse of what's possible with him at Ferrari and dangle a carrot that maybe, just maybe, this could all come together. But Leclerc magic cannot be the only thing that keeps this dream alive. Some way, somehow, Ferrari must start to offer something more to believe in.